Welcome to Talkin' Tigers. I'm Rachel Whitaker. LSU football had plenty to give thanks for after a 23-17 win at Texas A&M to close the regular season. Joining me now with more is LSU beat writer Jim Kleinpeter. Well, Jim, good to see you. You survived Thanksgiving in College Station. Oh yeah, it was, uh, it was a nice time. A uh, good game, a uh, good game to cover. <laughs> well, there's no doubt the Tigers should have scored more on Thursday since they had the ball for 41 minutes. But here's something else about, you guessed it, the quarterbacks. To be honest with you, I, uh, I wanted to get Brandon Harrison this game. I mean, that was a, a, a personal um, piece for me, and I, I need to uh, I need to let you know that I didn't get it done, and that was a mistake. And so, uh, that being said, I felt, I felt like Anthony Jennings um, basically could make those plays, and, uh, and that was kind of part of the plan. Interesting comments there, but Jennings threw for just 107 yards, about the usual, but his running for 119 showed a lot, Jim. Yeah, they've been doing that a little bit more lately. You wonder why maybe they didn't do it more in the season. It might have had something to do with the fact that they didn't want to get him hurt. Um, but uh, he, he proved to be a very good runner. And maybe it was just uh, Texas A&M's defense uh, uh, biting on the uh, uh, on the handoff and uh, and the fake and that opened him up. But uh, he, he had a lot of he had a lot of yards rushing and going back to the. Um, difficulty scoring uh, the problem LSU has isn't isn't moving the ball between the 20s it's getting it into the end zone uh, you know when the field gets shortened up your running game is kind of taken out you've got to be able to throw the ball in the red zone to score and, and not to have to settle for field goals and then to exacerbate matters they, they're, they're, all of a sudden they can't kick a field goal uh, you know, Colby Delahousse has been really good all season. He missed two against Arkansas, and then he missed another chip shot against Texas A&M. And then when they replaced him, his uh, his replacement kicked two and then missed one. So they went back to Colby. And you know, you've got to you got to be able to convert when you get inside the twenty. And if you're not going to score a touchdown, you got to get the field goal. Right. And LSU lo uh, ran for 384 yards rushing on Thursday night. Their most in 17 years and that was definitely a building block that they can use for the offense to lean on as they prepare for whatever bowl they prepare for coming up. Well, Jim, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. My pleasure, Rachel. And we'll take one more look at the Texas A&M game special teams on Tuesday. Thanks for watching.